back everyone to one man show in this video i will show you how i did this scene by using photo scans which you can also do by just using your smartphone don't need to have dslr for that so let's get started whatever you are scanning make sure that it don't affected by the sunlight and try taking pictures from various angles you must have more than 13 images of anything you are scanning then open the mesh room first then save your file which is necessary then drag your images directly here once you have all your images in mesh room then save this file again then all you have to do is click this start button here once this line turns totally green that means that you have successfully scanned your object and basically this will take approximately 15 to 30 minutes which also differs according to your pc configuration once done it will look something like this and you can turn this down and click on load model here you can clearly see the wall we want to scan is here which i will export it into blender you will get that mushroom cache folder here where you saved your mushroom file then just open up blender go to file import web front obj and paste the path of your folder where you saved your file and import it from this texture folder where you get the textured mesh just import this it will look bit weird when you first import it but we can fix this in the material view you can see the texture is already applied here and it's looks like real wall i am adding the real wall size human figure here to resize our wall in real wall size
now after scaling this i am making the copy of this same model so in future if we need this to use again we will keep this aside for now and i am rename the second one as low poly because at moment this is very heavy poly which i am going to apply decimate modifier to make the poly count low first i am going to get rid of this unnecessary mesh i am switching this to x ray mode and in edit mode i will delete all the vertex which are unnecessary then i am applying the decimate modifier here after added the decimate modifier you can put your amount here whatever specific for your model just don't apply too much and keep checking it in the wireframe mode and also in material mode to make sure that it not destroying your material After done, make sure you have applied decimate modifier properly. You can reapply it again if you want. Just as I said, don't apply it too much. Then let's check this by adding some basic lighting. in ev render I think it's look good. Then I am just adding the ramp node here between our image texture and specular, and also between the bump node, which I will connect to normal. so i am happy with this result once everything checked you can now save this file which we will append in our scene so let's take a look at how much scans i have did with using the same process
as you have seen some of the scans have failed some of them are successful but somehow i managed to use them in this scene and here i am placing them and here i am just don't letting the weird area of the model to get in front of camera and some of them parts i will fix in photoshop later once the render is done and i also added the roofs and some trees manually it took me one entire day to scan all those models and just one hour to set this composition and render it so you can see how much useful the 3d scans are just you have to give some time for once and the models are forever to use in your scene then i added the basic sunlight here from this angle you can clearly see here how good it looks even in ev renderer then i added the basic volume fog I just put that plane here. I turn the reflection totally down in nodes and I also added the noise to the base color and black and white ramp node. which making it look like the head cement is mixing it with water i found no problem in rendering it in ev but this is just for one frame so i decided to take render from the cycles i took mist and depth pass here you can see the basic render i did from cycles and also the mist and the depth pass i put it on the soft light mode in photoshop then i enhance the scene by adding some birds in the scene and also the street dog i added here this is also another render done by me which i made by using some copyright free materials 3d scans from the sketch fab and other sites which i will explain while doing the environment tutorials so see you in the next one i hope you enjoyed this video and also you can follow me on my instagram page at one man show